Hi, and welcome to our photo critiques. I'm Rob Knoll. This is Brian Capricci joining me as always. And thank you for sending in your photos for us to critique. We're excited to dive into the first one today, and it's a wedding photo. Brian? Awesome. So um, this kind of image where you've got the bride and groom under the veil, and you've got the veil sort of coming in towards the camera to kind of create that swooping <clears throat> effect, it's a, it's a really fun image to get. It's, it's one that brides and grooms often really enjoy. Um, but it's also a really challenging image to get because you're you're usually either holding the veil or you have your assistant holding it and it's kind of, you're trying to make some movement out of it and all that. And um, what I prefer to see in this kind of shot is the image shot a little bit wider. Like if we if we're take this image out of it and, and give some feedback on how to do this next time, I, I might suggest doing this image a little bit wider because you're gonna get more of that swooping effect of the veil. In this one, you can see the veil, but it's sort of like a little muddied up here and it's also incredibly overexposed. So you're not seeing any detail and you're not really seeing, I think the effect that the photographer was going for in the shot that you've got this veil kind of all around them. So that would just be one, one um, point of focus. I'd also want to consider um, their placement in uh, the light source. And obviously in this particular shot, you've got the light kind of coming from up here. And so the veil and up here is all catching the light and it's a lot brighter. Um, you might have been able to change your angle a little bit so that the veil didn't get so overexposed and, uh, and draw your eye up there. Because a lot of the times your eye is drawn, or most of the times your eye is drawn to the brightest part of the image. And right now that's kind of this big giant block up here that's drawing my attention. And the last point I want to make before passing <coughs> off to Rob is just to pay attention to focus, especially on images like this where you kind of want to have that dreamy effect. In this particular image, the actual main part of focus is on his beard. And if you look at their, their lips, their noses, and their eyes, they're all actually slightly out of focus. So I don't know if that's because maybe they moved or you just didn't lock focus enough or if you were using single point focus as opposed to continuous autofocus. If you're using continuous autofocus and if you had it um, locked on, on their eyes or one of their eyes, as they moved, it would have continued to, to track that and go in and out. Whereas in this particular case, you've got his ear and beard and neck mostly in focus, which I think mm. probably isn't the intended um, point of focus, but mm. there's some quick initial thoughts. Awesome. Well, first of all, I <clears throat> just want to apologize in advance. I've got quite a cold going here. I'm pretty sure Brian's going to have it by the time this mm. is done. Uh, so if I go into a coughing fit, I do apologize. <laughs> all right. So <clears throat> let's have a look here. Um, all of what Brian just said, yes. Um, so I'm not going to talk about the overexposure in the veil at all, but I think the expo overexposure is also affecting yeah. these areas in here too. Um, and it's just, it's just come to that point of going over the, over the line. So you want to bring that exposure back. A um, couple of things about this I just want to say that I really enjoy is the, uh, the expression and the mood and the feeling that you've captured between this couple here, um, especially her. I think she's more the dominant interest here because her face is, um, the line of her face is complete and his is getting covered because of the bridge of her nose and so forth. So I do love that about it. One of the things I don't love about it for her is the bend of the neck has almost produced an Adam's apple for her. And mm. women are not supposed to have that, right? right it's right. just the guys that have an Adam's sure. apple. So she has an Eve's apple happening here. Um, so I just think you need to be very it's a cautious. Bad dad joke. Bad dad joke. <laughs> you have to be cautious of that super exaggerated bend in the neck. Um, and I guess what, while I'm the, on the subject of necks, as much as I love this little spot here, it's a little too small in the frame. And what I find is that there's enormous amounts mm. of jaw and neck area here that actually become way too dominating for me in this shot. Um, so I think, A, the camera angle is a bit low. Mm -hmm. So you're sort of looking up to them, and that's creating all this area of neck and so forth. So you have to just, again, be careful of where is the camera in relation to the couple. Um, I love almost in the sense that you're sort of sneaking a look under the veil with them, and that might be why you justified the low camera angle. But I do think that it just adds so much, um, so much of that neck that we just don't find very interesting. The, the interest is in the faces, and that's where I kind of want it to be. Last point for me is <clears throat> I'm going to kind of assume that this plant I see is his boutonniere. But unfortunately, you haven't given me enough information to confirm that. It's funny because I actually thought it was her bouquet that she was maybe holding. Exactly. Yeah. So the question is, what is this? Who mm. owns it? Where does it come from? So you need to have some of that information so that we don't have these unanswered questions in the photograph. I mean, you're trying to tell a story every time you're using a photograph. So make sure I have the complete story whenever possible. And I think it goes back to Brian's suggestion earlier of just pulling back a little yeah. bit more and getting, getting just a bit more information in the shot like that. 
Um, skin tones look really nice. Color looks good for the most part. Little on the cool side, perhaps, but overall, nicely done in that regard. Awesome. Thank you so much for submitting your image, and we'll see you in the next episode.